from the studio of South Asia Views. As the two-day nationwide strike entered its second day on Tuesday, March 29, banking services and public services were thrown out of gear in states like West Bengal, Kerala and Tamil Nadu as thousands of workers on Monday. Nearly a dozen trade unions begin the two-day Bharat Ban on Monday to protest against the policies of the government. However, essential services like healthcare, electricity and fuel supplies remain unaffected. Public offices as well as educational institutions were also not impacted by the strike. Some bank branches, particularly in cities with a strong trade union movement, did very limitedly over the counter public dealings such as cash deposits and withdrawals. The Joint Forum of Central Trade Unions, which has called for the two day strike that started on Monday, said that bun like situation prevailed in at least eight states due to nationwide strike against various policies of the government. The Joint Forum of Central Trade Unions is protesting against the government policies affecting workers, farmers and people. Their demands include the scrapping of the labor codes, no privatization in any form, scrapping of the national monetization pipeline, increased allocation of wages under MNREGA, regularization of contract workers, in West Bengal, normal life was hit with protesters blocking roads and stopping the movement of trains at some stations. State road transport buses as well as auto rickshaws and private buses were off the road in Kerala, but essential services including supply of milk, hospital and ambulance services were not affected. Public transport services were hit in Haryana as employees of the state roadways joined the strike. Thousands of workers of state own SAIL, RILT and NMDC also joined the strike, affecting production at steel plants and mines. From the studio of South Asia Views.